Benjamin Mulianga is just from feeding his wife of 26 years. It's a daily routine that he has engaged in since she was diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease back in 2015. It's a condition caused by the damaging of the heart valves. <laughs> Initially, doctors at the Bungoma Hospital, where she registered her complaint, thought she was suffering from ulcers. But it turns out it may have been something much worse. Sasa, Bungoma wakaturifa mpisha. Tulipofika mpisha, wakamuangalia, wakachunguza, wakafanya test, wakamuambia valve mbili zinataka, zuwe replaced. But hawa wafanya open heart surgery. Hawa nafanya pacemaker na minor surgeries. The open heart surgery, Agnes was told, could only be conducted at either the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital or the Kenyatta National Hospital. She was supposed to undergo the operation on the 7th of March 2015, but on that day, her hospital file went missing and the surgery was postponed for July that same year. However, when she returned to the Kenyatta Hospital four months later, her file hadn't been found yet. Kenyatta ni zile dawa lilipatia tu. Ndiyo ni kaanza kumeza. Habu wakuna jambo lingine walikuwa na nifanya. Nikirudi huko hata, hata kupimwa, siku wana pimwa. Daktara na niuliza tu. Unasikia aje, umendele aje. Unamweleze alafu anandika. Naandika zile zile dawa tu. Sasa nikajiuliza kama ni kuenda na kuandika dawa. Siniwe ni kinunua tu. Benjamin and his wife to this day are puzzled with how a patient's file could mysteriously go missing. The hospital, however, says that Agnes never did file a complaint with the Kenyatta National Hospital's management over the issue for an inquiry to be conducted. <laughs> But Agnes will not be able to honor the Monday invite by the hospital administration just days after KTN News visited her at her Kawangware home in Nairobi. Agnes was admitted at the intensive care unit of a local hospital. The couple needs to raise 1.6 million for the open heart surgery needed to rectify the condition. It's money they cannot afford. But Agnes desperately clings to life. Her file at the Kenyatta National Hospital still remains missing, in essence denying her a chance to undergo an operation that could well be the only thing that might keep her alive. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.